Hello friend, if you have decided to explore the world of Linux, then hold on. Before you jump in, you must equip yourself with the right strategies and tools, which will make your journey more smooth and easy. So explore these practical tips for a risk-free experimentation and ensure your exploration into Linux is tailored to your comfort and pace. Let's get started with the most important one first. Making the switch to Linux is an exciting adventure, but before you dive in, there is one crucial step, securing your precious data. Imagine losing all your documents, photos, and other irreplaceable files during this transition. Not ideal, right? So backing up is essential because there is always a chance of unforeseen hiccups during installations or data transfers. Plus, a new environment can lead to accidental deletion, especially during the initial exploration phase. So having backups allows you to access them later if needed. A physical external hard drive is a reliable and affordable option. There are also cloud storage services like Google Drive, Dropbox, or Microsoft OneDrive which offers online storage accessible from any device. So use the external hard drives, cloud storage services or both. It is better to be safe than sorry. By taking these precautions, you can ensure a smooth and stress-free transition to Linux. For keeping data backups, use the 3 to one rule. This popular backup strategy suggests having three copies of your data, two on the different local media like your computer and an external hard drive, and one off-site copy like a cloud storage service. If you are cautious about a complete transition, then to easing you into the world of Linux, consider the versatility of a virtual machine. If you take my words, then this is the best way to approach Linux for beginners. Oracle VirtualBox is an excellent open source option. You can also use VMware's Workstation Player, which is a better choice in my opinion. But remember, it is a proprietary software, free for personal use. Virtualization software empowers you to run Linux within your existing operating system, establishing a risk-free environment for exploration. This method provides a sandbox space where you can experiment with Linux's features, applications, and functionalities without making any substantial changes in your primary system. It is similar to having a virtual playground where you can familiarize yourself with Linux's interface, software availability, and overall user experience. Virtual Machines offers a controlled and reversible environment, allowing you to test various Linux distributions and their configurations before going for a permanent shift. And the best thing is that you can make mistakes without any worries. This strategy ensures that you test Linux's compatibility with your needs and preferences while maintaining the security of your existing computer setup. Virtual machines act as a valuable tool for hands-on exploration, making the transition to Linux a gradual but a well-informed process. Virtual machines offers a safe space for experimentation. But what if you want more hands-on experience, but without installing the Linux on your PC? That's where the live USB comes in. It is a bootable USB drive packed with a fully functional Linux distribution. No installation is required. Simply plug the USB drive into your computer and boot from it. You will be greeted with a complete Linux environment, ready for exploration. A live USB can help you perform various tasks, which is sometimes is not possible with a virtual machine. With live USBs, you can do hardware troubleshooting such as checking the health and performance of your components. Using a live USB mode, you can identify whether your hardware even support Linux or not, which is a big issue even now with many laptop vendors. Live USBs are easy to use and additionally, they are non-destructive, allowing you to run it without modifying or erasing your existing data or operating system. And the best thing about Linux is that almost all the Linux distributions comes with the live USB mode by default. If you want a real-world testing of Linux, then the best option to consider is dual booting. Dual booting allows you to have both Linux and your current operating system on the same machine. It is like having a safety net. You can gradually immerse yourself in the Linux experience without fully committing. This way, you maintain access to your familiar environment while exploring the Linux world at your own pace. 
Dual booting is a practical way to test Linux that also ensures a smooth transition, giving you the flexibility to switch between systems based on your comfort level and specific needs. And as you become more comfortable with Linux, you can gradually reduce reliance on your previous operating system until you are ready to make the complete shift. It is a thoughtful strategy for those wanting a gentle introduction to the world of Linux without letting go the familiarity of their previous operating system environment. Embarking on your Linux's journey becomes more straightforward when you opt for a user-friendly distribution. Among the plethora of choices, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Zorin OS, and Elementary OS stand out as an excellent starting point, especially for those who are new to the Linux ecosystem. These distributions prioritize user experience, offering intuitive interface that resembles familiar operating systems. All these distributions are based on Debian, which is renowned for its stability and widespread community support, which provides a seamless transition from other operating systems. On the other hand, these distributions individually comes with extensive documentation, making it easier for newcomers to find answers to queries and troubleshoot issues. Starting with user-friendly distros ensures a smoother initiation into the world of Linux, allowing you to gradually accustom yourself with the distinctive features and functionalities of these free and open-source operating systems. This final tip may not be necessary for everyone, but if you are really serious about learning and using Linux, then you should join or follow Linux community forums, blogs, and Discord servers. Linux's community are renowned for their helpfulness, so do not hesitate to reach out. Here are some resources for you that you can try if you need help. First of all, there are distro-specific forums. Each distribution has dedicated forums where you can ask questions and get help. Then there are Reddit communities. Find an active Linux community on Reddit for discussions and support. And finally, you can also take a look at the official documentation. Most distributions offer comprehensive documentation so that anyone can follow them when needed. So that's it for today, my friend. Now that you are equipped with valuable tips and tricks, you are ready to embark on a smooth and informative journey of Linux. Remember, Linux is a dynamic ecosystem, offering endless possibilities for customization and exploration. Thanks for joining. Subscribe to the channel for more Linux tips. Like this video if you find it informative. And feel free to share with us what is your favorite Linux distributions in the comment section below. Until then, don't be afraid and keep on experimenting.